hand, Scott Russell, last week. Gee, that's an ordinary hand pass. Really put Williams under pressure. Chance now for Lappin. Lovely little left foot snapshot by... In 13 meetings, Brisbane had beaten Collingwood only once. Here at the Gabba in 1994. With merit rested, the top side in the competition started odds on favourite. This time, there would be a slow start. The Pies getting the jump. Patterson, the a leading player occasionally against Buse. Normally a great kick for goal. That's no exception. He is a good finisher. Out there for Bartlett. Gow has read it well. It was a clever kick, actually. G uh, Fletcher unlucky, then trapped it. Chance for uh, White. Decides not to give it off immediately, then puts his man under pressure. Boss in brilliant touch early. Beautiful handball to Gowers at centre wing. Comes in board, goes long to full forward. At the back lap and leaps. Beauty from the side. Should go. He's only 35 metres out. Directly in front. Close. Got it. In front on the board, 33 to 17. Buckley, oh gee, not a lot of percentage there. Yes, the short kicks in uh, to that uh, defensive. By half time, the Bears led by a goal, and a six goal third term stretched it even further. Voss was in outstanding form. Hindsight shows that his three votes this night had him on 14 for the season after eight games. He gets it down, approaching. Oh, Richardson, that bump was by Voss. And Alan Richardson, on his 31st birthday, is in a lot of strife. And you were a little bit fortunate there, Chris Scott, at the second grab. He's taken the mark. Hand pass away to Tristan Lynch again, towards full forward, to his namesake, and he's got it. Alistair Lynch has marked only 10 metres out, not even 10 metres out. To keep leading hard at the ball for the four quarters is the thing that uh, Lynch has to still be able to do at this point of his comeback. Well, he could give the Bears the lead. He kicks his third and the Bears are in front. Will this break the deadlock? Will Kennedy put Brisbane in front? No, because he's hooked it very badly. Wow! What a mark! He is an athlete. Typically, it's his first mark and this will be his first kick. He is mercurial, there's no question. This to put the Bears in front late in the opening half. Lynch galloping back towards the square. He's kicked three goals. On the other side of the ledger, Sav Rocker, goalless at this stage. Lappin's kicked to the square. Lynch has got it again. So he's looking ominously dangerous, is Alistair Lynch. He's really brought the, uh, the Bears right back. Lynch for his fourth goal, directly in front, makes no mistake. Legally, to Lappin, having a huge game. Another long run. Directs the kick to full forward and gets to his man. What a play by Lappin. Who's had a quiet night by his own high standards. Only his second kick coming up. Kicks from 48. Does it get there? It's there. Clark uh, starting to dominate. Gets high. Lays it down. Right held on to. No free kick. Lambert will play back to Clark. Still with Clark to Fletcher, could give off, does to Voss. Voss centers the ball. Lepich! He's already kicked one goal on this term, Lepich. He's got another one. Lynch wanting to give off, actually, to Scott. And now does. Scott at half forward. This would be a big play off the interchange. Have a look at that. Remarkable goal. He's going to kick from about 53. Winds himself up. Oh, takes his man on and drills it home. Too far to score a goal. Puts it to centre half for Dion Scott. Beat everybody. Lepix, left foot, done it. Close. Very close. Might have. Little kick to the advantage of Lepich. Well, he tried to break the Krasiska tackle. That was maybe a little adventurous, but Daryl White, he's starting now his magical tricks and a lovely little pass.
In defence, Richard Champion kept Magpies ace Sav Rocker goalless. After eight, the Bears were seven and one. Five wins in a row was a club record. He's now kicked five. Probably the big difference I noticed in that transition from round one to round eight is that uh, we, we had probably 90% of the support, whereas if we played Collingwood in past years, it was 60-40, and um, it was, it's certainly you know, a rapid change in our support base, and um, uh, that game was uh, you know, all, almost got away from us. They come back at us in the last quarter, and we nearly lost it. Uh, it was probably lucky it never went for another two or so minutes because they probably would have pipped us. The lure of a Sydney-Brisbane blockbuster at the SCG proved irresistible. 27,000, the biggest to see a Swans match in a decade. Darrell White was a late withdrawal. The plane was late, forcing the team meeting to be abandoned. But all eyes were on the big bloke from Sydney in the number four Guernsey. He'd kick 11.